EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. That you, baby. It's about that you. NCAA Football 2005. This is Life's Echo Stadium with a nice view of the Wasatch Mountains. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Weber State Wildcats and the Utes of Utah. And here come the Utes. Welcome to another great game, folks. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here to bring you the intense action of this rivalry. The Utes are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Utah has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now, against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career day. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Weber State is going to have a hard time moving the ball against this attacking defense. I'd be surprised if they scored one touchdown in this game. They're going to lose this one big. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it. Number 35, fields it at the nine. Lost the ball, fumble! And now the ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Weaver State lines up in a dime defense here. There he goes. Missed tackle. Tackle. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 20. The Utes set up in the gun. He drops back. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Third and one, ball on the 20-yard line. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. A little handoff. They'll drop in for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that. One. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up. And it sails through the uprights. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Utah is ready to kick it away. Number 33 and number 35 set to return. Kicks it off. Number 33 takes from the 10. He did got away. Kickoff return 18 yards. Number 33. They'll go to work at the 28. They go with a pitch to the right. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt for eight pounds. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Weber State lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He'll dump this one off. And he's tackled. It'll go down as a completion, but they won't get much for it. Yeah, just a wasted play right there. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on their own 25. Number 33 lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. He's going right. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 14 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 82 takes it at the 49. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Utes have five receivers on this play. Throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Utah comes to the line with three wide. Here's an opening. Broke away from one. They'll bring him down. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Ball on the 27-yard line. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. And they'll run him again. And he's taken down. A five-yard gain. Five-yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 22. He drops back, throws this one out to the left. Touchdown, running Utes. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. They're ready for the kickoff. 
Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number 33. Fields it at the 9. <laughs> You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three out so fast they had to ask a slow mo replay to recap it. First and ten. Ball on their own 21. Weaver State sets up in the eye. Toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. He's going left. It's tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 15. Number 33 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Back to pass. Down the middle. Incomplete pass. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. They send out the punting unit. Number 14, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 82, fields it at the 38. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shop at the 35-yard line. The Wildcats bring in the nickel package. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. They get five yards on the play. Five-yard gain on the play. Second down and five. Ball on the 30. The Wildcats line up in a nickel back. And there's a fumble. It's a good stop, and it's a lineman that's got it. The offense was quick to jump on that loose ball, weren't they, Kirk? Yeah, as soon as they saw it hit the floor, they reacted. It's first and ten. Ball in the 23. Number 11 is back in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, looking over the middle. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Weber State has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Good protection. Fires. It's deflected. Incomplete. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Utes set up in the gun. Looks. He passes it. Someone got a hand on it. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for the reception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. And it is good. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
kick. Kicks it off. Number 35 takes it from the six. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. The Utes bring in the nickel package. He's tackled. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Utah 13, Weber State nothing. Second and nine, ball on the 21. The Wildcats come out with split back. Tackle. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the play. Third it's third eight. down and eight to go. Ball on their own 22. Utah comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's under some heat. And this one's broken up. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 14 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 82 fields it at the 48. He tries to spin to the 20. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. Weber State brings in their nickel package. They snap it to the back. He picks up four yards on the carry. Gain of four on the play. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Over the middle. The pass was right on target and goes for six. And that was a full side of the pass. And it left his hand in a real big hurry. PAT. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. They're ready for the kickoff. Utah is lined up for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 33 fields it at the nine. Takes off a tackle. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the receiving team. Ten yard penalty. And he got caught holding. Yeah, you can't get caught with your hands on the outside of another player if you're going to block him. They have to stay in front, and that time the player didn't do that. They'll get the ball here at the 13-yard line. They come out at a nickel. Pitch left. They'll bring him down. Just about three yards there. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 16. 
Weber State comes to the line with three wide. He gets another carry. And they make the stop to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No game on the play. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation, looking. Waits till the last moment. That close to being intercepted. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Didn't get all of that one. Number 82, fields at the 44. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. They go with a run. Sheds a tackler. Tackle. They grab eight yards there. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 31. Utah lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Across the middle. And he's taken down. He fired that ball in there. Yeah, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. First and ten. Ball on the 25. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Finds his receiver. And they push him out. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. time they were in the red zone they got a touchdown out of it inside give great one touchdown Utah oh my when it rains it pours ha, that's why I brought one of these whoa whoa, whoa. watch it coach you're gonna take it out now put that thing away like Brad said when it rains it pours I came prepared my friend very funny coach now seriously can you close that thing off so we can see the game And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. for the kick. Utah is lined up with the kickball. And they'll be returning this one. Number 33 has it at the five. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. They'll drop him for a loss. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Two minutes to go in the half. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. 
Makes a move. And he's tackled. Utah calls a timeout. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Nickel defense. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. It falls incomplete. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. They send out the punting unit. Didn't get all of that one. Number 82, 46. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 40. From the gun. Nice play fake. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Back to pass. He's looking. Under pressure. He keeps it. There he goes. And he's taken down. Good awareness on that scramble there. Please, answer this question for me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket-type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of play on defense. The problem there, Coach, is they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. Pressure coming. He lets it go. Finds his receiver. Utah takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All sides, on the defense. Still the first down. That'll move them forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get free yards, you'll take it. First on the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Throw on first down. He's going left. And he's got it for the touchdown. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive Summary. is ready to kick it away. Utah is lined up with a kickball. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 35, fields it at the three. 
This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. They line up with split backs. Back to pass. He's going right. Incomplete pass. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul, first down. Well, they flagged the defender for interference. What do you guys think? Yo. I think he got a bum rap on that one. I don't know, Coach. I thought he got in there a little bit too soon. It's first and 10. Ball on 34. Ace backfield. They'll throw on first down. Throws. It falls incomplete. Well, he missed his receiver there, Coach. Yo, this kid needs to relax a little bit more. That ball's coming out 100 miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. Number 33, the lone back. Drop back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. And that was out of reach for his tight end. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Utes line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws. Finds a man. Tackle. Weber State calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. He's going left. The ball is tipped. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Wildcat come out with split backs. Throws this one out to the left. They'll bring him down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. We've got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, first down. You got a hold of the face mask there. Yeah, Brad, you have to be careful when wrapping up on a guy like that. First and 10, ball on the 34 yard line. Weaver State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He pumps once. He's under pressure. Wants to throw outside. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. The Wildcats. Come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Here they come, and they get the sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. The youths bring in the nickel package. He's under some heat, and down he goes. Weaver State takes a timeout.
Utah has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Steps up, he's looking. And he's gonna be sacked for a loss. Utah, 34, Weaver State, nothing. Weaver, Weaver State, State will be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 22 takes it the 15. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 29. The Utes have five receivers on this play. They'll throw on first down. Might want it all. Deep ball's got a man. And it falls incomplete. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Second and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Number 20 is the single setback. On the ground with the tailback. He spins, and he's tackled. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. First and ten, ball right around midfield from the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throw in and out of his hand. Number 39, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten, ball right around midfield. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. Complete. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Third down and three coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Ace backfield. Inside handoff. A little juke. And down he goes. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Utes set up in the gun. Inside give. Tackle. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 26. Weaver State lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. He steps up, looks, down the middle. Finds his receiver, and they make the stop. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking right.
The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Touchdown, Utah! The simple handoff to the fullback got it done right there. Yo, give it to the big bulldozer and get out of the way. And he tacks on the extra point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 33, fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 17. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 33. the 33 yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Brought down. They get three yards on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 36. Weber State goes with the ace set here. They hand it off. And he stopped behind the line. Well, the defense here did a great job of sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, looking. Across the middle, got it. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. First and 10, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Wildcats come out in the ace formation. He rolls left, wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. The Utes line up in a nickel back. They get it out there on the toss. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number 13 is back in the gun. It's a bad snap. Steps up. He's looking. Under heavy pressure. Throws it to the outside. Right. 
So they're set to punt this one away. Number 14, number 82. Number 14, punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 82, fields it at the 30. That last drive resulted in the touchdown. They did a great job moving the ball on the ground. Let's see what they can do here. They'll go to work at the 49-yard line. Utah in a four-wide set. They snap it to the back. And down he goes. And they pick up nine there. Nine yards. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. And the halfback gets the first down. Nothing too fancy, just a draw play here. They get the first down and they keep the chains moving. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Heading to the fourth quarter, this one is well in hand. With the score, Utah 41, Weber State nothing. First it's first and 10, ten. Ball, ball on the 40. On the 40 yard line. Utah lines up in a shotgun set. And the snap goes to the back. He's hit and got away, and he's tackled. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. First and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30-yard line. Utah lines up in a bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. Looks, throws to the middle, and it's incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They'll work from the shotgun. They hand it off again. They'll bring him down. So they get about three on the draw. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. And they have three bunch. It's a bad snap. Let's it go. Brings it in. Touchdown. And they just continue to pour it on out there. I'll tell you what, this has been a tremendous effort all game long. What a performance. This is one team that's been extremely well prepared. These young men have played about as good a game as you could ask. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. like they're ready for the kick. Utah is lined up with the kickball. Kicks it off. Number 35 takes it at the four. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 12-yard line. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nice play by the big D lineman. Right. 
Second down and 14. Ball on the eight. Weber State lines up in a shotgun set. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws it out there. He's got an opening. Tackle. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Weber State lines up in a goal line set. Throw short. And he dropped it. The big fella couldn't hang on to it that time. No, he couldn't. I'm going to tell you exactly why. He's doing a little too much thinking out there. Sometimes you just got to go out there and have fun. That's what I tell him. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 14 punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 22 fields it at the 46. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 41. Weber State brings in their nickel package. Cat in two. Hut, hut. The counter. And he's tackled. They get about five yards from the halfback. Five yards. Second down and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. Weber State lines up in a dime defense here. They hand off on the counter. He jukes. Brought down. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 33. Number 43, the lone back. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Got an opening. And down he goes. And he picks up great yardage on the run. Yeah, and it looked like everybody else was in slow motion on that run. Boy, this kid is fast. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the in the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Again, he'll get the call. Tries to juke, and he's taken down. When you break one like that, you gotta give credit to the offensive line. like we have our Old Spice players of the game. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll go with the run once again. Touchdown, Utah! He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. That doesn't do a whole lot of yards for carry average, but hey, it sure put the catch in the score. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 
seven, ready to kick. Kicks it off. Number 35, fields it at the three. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 20. They come out at a nickel. Back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. And they got him for a loss. And they back up three yards on that play. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Wildcats line up in a split back set. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Pull back straight ahead. And they hit him in the backfield. They call these rivalry games for a reason, but it was clearly one-sided this time around. Guys, your closing thoughts. Utah comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Folks, thanks for tuning in to this game. Our final score, Utah 55, Weber State nothing.